Chancellor's Log, November 1st, 1936. Another few months have passed, another few skirmishes won. Whilst I had hoped to have already won the war by now, I did plan for this to be a drawn out conflict. There are simply too many British ships to force a quick victory. The British have already offered to surrender several times. Each time I have declined. I am not interested in a return to the status quo. I am not interested in seeing the British lick their wounds and come back stronger in half a decade, only for us to have to repeat all of our steps. I have set a plan in motion to create a grassroots revolution. The British Admiralty and government at large is comprised of a group of lords. These men have lost touch with the common British folk. Sure enough, some of their sons are officers in the Royal Navy or Army, but they're never really at risk. They don't serve on the front lines. It's the sons and fathers of the common man who go to serve and die aboard the British warships. They are the ones who come home, eyes hollow from the things they have seen. They are the ones who go down with the ship, who burn in the fires that we set. The British leadership is reluctant to share exactly what the state of their navy is, in fear of revolution. I have ordered our intelligence service to start providing exactly what their name implies. Intelligence. Just not for us, but for our enemy. Whenever we sink a British warship, we note down its name and we take a picture. The sunk warship's name is then processed into a poster along with the picture. Several cells of agents in Britain then print and hang these posters in British public spaces. HMS Tigris, lost with all hands. HMS Gala, no survivors. HMS Despatch, sunk. With every sunken ship published, the British morale shatters a little more. Mothers and sisters, wives and daughters of the dead grow weary. Distress increases. And so, the fires of revolution grow hotter and hotter. A few more months and the British will face a full-blown revolution. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Episode 33 and the British continue to harass my ships. No, it's not the other way around. What are you talking about? It's it's the British are being stupid again. We got the battleship Rhineland with her nine 16 inch guns taking on the Swiftsure with eight 15.4s. Not strictly bad guns. Seems like an okay ship. Um, armed to the teeth and then some. Backed up by a lot of heavy cruisers. I have the Lippe as a heavy cruiser support. I also have light cruiser Bremen. Now, don't make light of light cruisers, ever, because I have taken down battle cruisers with them, and if you don't believe me, go back a few episodes. V-22, sorry, 23, 24, 25 can also be used in a harassing role with high explosive against these cruisers. They are pretty heavily armored, though, these cruisers. They're not that easy to sink. I mean, they're more heavily armored than a battle cruiser, even though that makes fairly little sense. But then again, this is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts with the AI designs, where well, things don't always have to make sense. Let's have a look. Hello, Rhineland. Warm up the guns, because we're going to get busy. All right, Lippa, I want you just to be in the same div as the light cruiser. Yes. Uh, you guys can temporarily follow the Rhineland and the DDs. Off you go, we got business to attend to. These are the new... Oh, hello, hello, hello. These are the new ships, which means that they have six 5.9-inch guns. That's a lot of firepower for a DD. No torpedo tubes really worth mentioning, because they simply don't have a lot. All right, let's whack this battleship over the head before they can spot us. Sea state's pretty calm. It is evening. Unfortunately for them, my radar does not care about your evening. In fact, it's going to make it easier to ruin your evening. And that was a nice miss. Let's try that again. 
The fast reload from these 16 inchers in 45 seconds is going to come in very nicely over pen. Okay, so here's my thinking. I overpenned this guy, which meant I went through the foredeck and then I overpenned, so I penned the entire ship and it went right out the bottom. Why is it not flooding? If a projectile punches a hole in the front, in the, the foredeck, and then overpens, continuing its path, where is the flooding? I think that is a perfectly reasonable question. Now, how do I want to play the DDs? It's just a bunch of heavy cruisers. Yeah, just continue to harass, it's fine. I'm still very much hoping I can continue to pummel the British until they just collapse. I am not interested in talking peace. I'm not interested in having these guys just walk away again. Only to come back with another 200 ships. Because even as my economy is growing, I don't think I can quite support that. So we're going to have to do something right now. Which means the complete and utter destruction of the British Empire. Nothing short of that will be acceptable. That is a great shot there, sir. Destroy the torpedo launcher. That's an even better shot against the battleship. Keep that up, will you? Four inches. No, they got 12 kilometer range. Damage to a main gun. Now the ship's flooding. Okay, you're 10 clicks out. We're going to come round. We might eventually link up with the battleships again, but it's not really my priority. You switched fire. You have. Why are you suddenly growing a brain? And why do you think it's a good idea? Oh, because you can immediately knock out the conning tower off this heavy cruiser. No, okay, that that's a fair argument. That's a fair point. We've got Lippa engaging, Bremen is engaging. And my battleship is missing their battleship. But that won't happen too often. She has a 24% accuracy. I like that. Damage the main gun. What's the Peter range on these bastards? 10? 10? Ah, it's all the same. To me, it's all the same, which is fine. Swifture is going to have a fairly swift death. Let's load the armor piercing because this thing is fully broadside. Wow, how much armor do you get? That's a lot. 16.9 main belt. 16.9? They're serious. Oh, okay. Interesting. And it's shooting back, no less. Ricochet partial pen. Okay. Can you pen me? Yes, you can. Just not the main belt. What's the DD group up to? Eh, not much. Not much. Full back. Rhineland is doing a leisurely 22 knots, which means that these guys are fairly capable of catching up to me if they would really be interested in such matters. I don't think they're actually going to do that. Nice partials. Yeah, with that conning tower damaged, they're going to be very inaccurate if they even... Actually, they're not aiming at anything. Oh, I'm invisible. Easy. Easy. I'm invisible, you can't see me. I won't put it in here, but you can imagine the John Cena meme here. Come on. Fine, load the high explosive. Perhaps we can accidentally pen the superstructure with high explosive, since it only has 0.3 inches of armor. And then blow a very big hole in the rest of the... Well, the rest of the conning tower, I suppose. Huh. Soups. <laughs> Sorry, Durban. <laughs> Best not get in the way. You might find yourself at a disadvantage. That was the main gun. Are they getting detected again? Go on. Get out of here. Shoot this. And that's destroyed. The secondary gun. Put some parts of the ship on fire. Very nice, very nice. And the Swifture. Well... Currently, she isn't swift, and she's definitely not sure. I think she's running. 
Stop blowing holes in my destroyers. They might not be extremely valuable, but I can make them work. Parse pen, more fire, lost 20% of the crew. You guys fast or something? 33 knots. Yes, they're fast. Okay, so that's annoying. We're going to have to address that. How expensive are these boys? What? Wow. Calm down. Torpedoes? What the hell is this then? Are these boys expensive? 60 million each. The thing is, I think this heavy... No, sorry, this battleship is projecting more power than a heavy cruiser. So I'm going to make it my mission to sink this. Because if possible, I'm going to blockade the British to uh, expedite their demise. And the battle. Why the hell would I want to click that? When this end battle button appears, it always feels like the AI is getting a bit desperate. Like they really want you to prolong the whole campaign by just leaving. Which I think is a bit sad. Come on. Yep, flooding. Nice on the midships. You still see me? No, they can't. If you're not sure if something can see you or not, it's currently not targeting me. The Hobart is not aiming at my destroyer. So that means it is invisible. It is invisible to them. At a range of 8 kilometers, I am perfectly stealthy. Alright, I want you to detach from the div and just leave. Because I don't really think your chances of survival are going to be improving if you let those guys catch up. More flooding. Have you been doing something useful? Not very. Only fire when you have good accuracy. Destroy the main gun. With high explosive. Nonetheless. With high explosive. Did you forget to armor up your turrets? No, you definitely didn't. The small turrets? Sure. But the big turrets? The 15 inchers? They're pretty heavily protected. The funnel? <laughs> Not so much. Because the funnel is part of the superstructure. Boom. Destroyed the funnel again. I don't have tons of high explosive left. Good thing I'm going to be firing armor piercing at all these cruisers. Since they're fair game. That was a great hit. What is your pen? The four deck? With high explosive. Six and a half inch. 17 clicks? Huh. Okay. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. Okay, I also want you to shoot only if you have a good firing solution. You're shooting the Hobart. Yeah. Not a priority. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing is retreating, damn it. Rhineland. Come about. We're going to intercept the Hobart and the Lancaster. And we're going to make them suffer. Whoa. 16 inch aft pen. Liverpool, I really wouldn't recommend that. At the same time, it does come with some serious torpedo gifts. At a range of 10-1. So... Let's sink it quickly. I am really not interested in taking a whole lot of torpedoes. Suddenly all these heavy cruisers decided to grow a brain and charge me. That's interesting. I never actually checked what sort of class the Lippa is. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Destroyed a torpedo launcher. Excellent. Firing angle is not great. I mean, this thing is going to block a lot of it. Uh, Inconstant and Penguin are perfectly aligned. Shit, it just launched against my light cruiser. Okay. Fine. Uh, torp dodge. 
Huh. I thought it was going to hit the penguin. Surprised I didn't. Whoa, 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 people. Boom. Is half a heavy cruiser removed from the game? Chance to pan... What, 20? Yeah, this should be better. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Give me a minute. Penguin. Chance to pan about 50%. Shoot the penguin. I mean, the ship, not the bird. Boom. That's half the... That's a bit more than half the cruiser removed. A bit more than half. Finish them. No. No. Getting torpedo spammed. I don't like getting torpedo spammed. CLCA, I need you back here. DD group is somewhere over there. Get your ass back here. Nice torp you got there. Oh, fuck off. I need more ventilation in my hole. I'll arrange, or I'll make arrangements myself. I don't need your help. Fire. Shoot. Hello? Guns. What's up with the guns? 100% chance to hit. Shoot! Thank you. What the hell was that about? Okay, that's them dead. Ish. Work in progress. Oh, these guys are so well built. No, standard bulkheads. Oh, never mind. You dead. Next, Cordelia. Cordelia 2 is very interested in making my life a bit more interesting. I didn't sign up for dance classes with a battleship. Shit, now they're everywhere. Yeah, that's the Hobart and the Lancaster and the Durban still hunting down the... Wounded V-23. Stop turning so much. Kill this. Go for high explosive. Why on earth are you shooting at that? Shoot at this. Thank you. Who's the leader here? <laughs> the fuck? Who's leading this charge? Wait. The 23? How'd you get in here? You. Start turning. You. Start shooting this. Smoke up. Battleship? Not getting torpedoed. This heavy cruiser? I'm getting a bit more ventilation. Any more torpedoes in the water? Not currently. Okay, we're gonna turn to port. We're gonna make sure that we have a few more guns to fire at the enemy, like the 16s. 16s on the bow. Yes. Nicely broadside, switch to armor piercing, and end them. Just finish this. That's not what, quite what I was hoping for. Go on. Rhineland's taking quite a bit of damage. More than I would like. But hey, it's a whole heavy cruiser division, so something's got to give. Besides, every once in a while, I suppose I have to boost the British morale to make sure they don't surrender. This is not very funny, because I'm just entering torpedo range on the guys over there. This is just a non-starter. This guy is not a problem. Switch to the Lancaster. Hobart doesn't have torpedoes, but Lancaster does, and just sent them my way. Like that. You and you. Start shooting the Hobart. That was a complete fluff. Missed everything. Whoa! Okay, get out. I'm sort of trying to speedrun this battle in case it wasn't blatantly obvious. 
because there are um, some more interesting battles coming up and I want to be designing new ships. All of this stuff is getting in the way! Oh no! That was perfectly planned. Bremen, you're just as fast as a torpedo. Oh boy. Steady course. Rhineland, I really need you to start taking down these guys because they're getting quite dangerous indeed. You've lost all your torpedoes. Durban just torped something. Over here we still got the very da badly damaged Cordelia, the half health and constant. Jesus. The almost entirely dead penguin and the conquest. Oh no. Yep, that was a bad hit. That was a bad hit on the Bremen. Being a light cruiser, she doesn't get the benefit of having a torpedo blister. So, for roleplay purposes, I'm going to say this was completely planned. This uh, fluffing of the battle, if you will. Because I need the British to have at least some fighting spirit left. Stop throwing torpedoes. And if we just murder them, if we just continue to harass their whole fleet, then that won't happen. They will revolt, they will cause issues, and they will most likely... Most likely just end the war early. Which is not what I want them to do. Cordelia dead. What did you do? Yeah, that was two and a half thousand damage. Okay. Now we're going to start picking off the penguin. She's almost finished. The Bremen to leave. This 1v1 is cute. I'm just not sure if it's wise. Got a decent chance to pen. Come on, pick him off. There you go, you dead. Your flooding is gonna kill you. 3%, 2%, 1%. And sunk. Next, conquests. Start to remove some threats. You still have torpedoes, although not a lot. Destroyed main tower. It's pretty evil. Lancaster. Ooh, Lancaster still has a lot of torps. That's not very nice. Um, yeah. Wow, you're running low on shells. Okay. That's pretty serious. Conquest is done. Next, in constant. We got them softened up and they got nowhere to run. Pretty easy to kill. I have to... Hmm. Destroy the main gun. Productive. I might have to pull this heavy cruiser out of the fight because it simply doesn't have any ammo left. And with the 5.9s, I can pen... Is this range 10? Yeah. So I can pen about 3.6 inches of armor, which should be enough to pen their superstructure. But not much more than that. I kind of hope that the Lancaster is going to throw torpedoes at the Lippa, because the Lippa can turn very quickly. And thus we'll be able to make that torpedo salvo completely irrelevant. Rhineland's finishing off the Inconstant. Ooh, good hit. Surprised that it didn't cause any flooding. In case you're vigorously typing a comment saying, wow, this was the most messy battle that you've done. You're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. This was not a very clean battle. It's pretty messy. But I gotta say, after all the fights that I've had against the Brits, I don't take them particularly seriously anymore. It's almost all the time just a flat out seal club. Go for high explosive. We got very little aft deck. We can use that. Boom. That was through the main deck. No less. Okay. Lip up. You getting torpedoed yet? No, because the Lancaster's 
off doing its own thing. I'm not sure where it's going. Got eight shells left. Shit. Two shells. Hmm. Done. Okay. Do you think you can finish all of these ships by yourself, Rhineland? That would be very nice if you could do that. Because then we can at least ensure we won't have to fight them again. What's your speed? 18 knots. Then they got the Hobart, which is fairly healthy. The Lancaster's almost completely healthy. Badly damaged Caledon and very badly damaged Durban. Issue that I'm facing is that I'm running low on high explosive. 51 shells left, and then 147 AP, which I'm really going to have to make count. Where is the Durban? All the way over there. Hmm. Do I just call it quits? Put these guys in dock for a long time, putting additional pressure on the British economy? Is that what we're doing? I suppose it's an option. Boom. Now you're dead. Oh, that was a really big flooding hit. Right through the four deck, but it caused one, two, three, four, five floodings. I wonder if they still have enough crew to fix that. Buoyancy is down to 20. No, it's not. Okay. So that's nice. Ceasefire. Battle damaged Hobart. Lancaster Caledon is really far away. But coming back? Wow. Props to the British for not leaving. Flat out running away. Which I have been doing with the rest of the battle. CL. Uh, I took a torpedo. It's not looking too pretty. We're going to need some serious repairs. Otherwise, fine. Okay, so officially I got a 50% chance to pen. Unofficially, probably not. Because I'm looking at a high ricochet angle. The Hobar I can pretty much take down with a few salvos at short range. Lancaster, I have to dance around the torpedoes. New launchers you got. Whoa, 12 per side. 4, 4, 4. So you can send two more torpedo salvos and then you have a couple of underwater surprises. Very nice. Very nice. I want you to target the... Forty percent chance to pen. Come on. Throw the torps. Throw the torps. Throw the torps. I want you to do it. Chance to pen Hobart. Fifty... Yeah. Okay. Mains on that. And near miss. 144 shells, make them count. 17% chance to pen. Sorry, to hit. Yep, that's a decent hit. I don't really care about these two. I want to finish off the stragglers. But if I can, like that, eliminate these cruisers, then I will. Lancaster. Maybe Lancaster should have charged me. But didn't. Stop. Ricochet angle's way too high. Mains on the Kaladin. Fire. 30% chance to hit. I'll take those odds. They still have torpedoes 12. Which means they can really badly ruin my day if they so desire. That goes both ways. Come on. Wow. Maybe a bit less lead there, uh, Rhineland. Slow to full speed. Get your accuracy bonus up. Flooding. Strictly what I need. I need the torpedo launchers destroyed. Blocked? Oh, there must be the secondaries.
Angle's terrible. Switch. Eliminate this guy. Obar and Lancaster are definitely trying to run. That's fine, I'll take these. Then call it quits. Turning circle should be good, I got sonar one. I got enough warning if they throw a torpedo. So we're gonna push in, and we're gonna make those 63 shells enough to take out these guys. Wow. Or not. Ceasefire. Secondaries are throwing HE, that's good. That's the type of ammo that I need. Hmm. Chance of pens going down. 34, 33, 34. Slowly setting some fires. Can you pen this? No. Cute! Is that the last of them? That's the last of them. Oh, nice split. Kaladin actually has a better chance to get penned. You can't touch this. Blocked, partial pen. It's fine. 25% chance? Load the high explosive and fire. 74% chance to hit. Boom. Destroyed funnel. Got nine shells. I can do one and a half salvos. Make it count. That's it. Right there. Flooding. Got one salvo ish. Half a salvo, actually. Yes. Another 800 damage. Now we're going to go to AP. 50 shells. Enough. Enough. Switch to the Kaladin. You're dead. Go. My chance to ricochet is probably fairly bad. Nope, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. That finished him. Switch to the Hobart. Dead. Oh my god, you're just murdering them one after the next. Boom. So, you know what's fun? Lancaster is gonna go home. With about 1,297, sorry, 12, yeah, 1,297 very dispirited, very traitorous sailors. And the rest of the navy is going to go, how did you survive? Why did you come out with barely any casualties? And they're going to have a lot of infighting about that. Look at that. 15,000 victory points versus 70. Nice fight. Didn't lose a ship. It's going to cost me some repairs. Otherwise, fine. So let's see. What do you want to tell me about my total score? 94k. Not bad. Now, what I was going to try and do is get the torpedoes. Yeah, I got the torpedo propulsion upgrade, so my torpedoes can now run 14 kilometers. And I got the torpedo 23 inch and the torpedo tubes. That's the Mark IV. Meh. Um, I'm going to go for big guns again because I can get the Mark II 18-inchers and the battery control station, which... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Minus 15% accuracy penalty from sea waves. I quite like that. Okay, next month... I hope I'm not going to be taking too many penalties. Why do the British still have 13 battleships here? How much of my battleships can be mobilized? A lot. Quite a lot. If I wait one month, I get the Mecklenburg and the Heimdall back. And the Margraf and the König. Yes. One month. Please don't give me any missions. I probably don't have... Oh. Any, because I... Uh, because I don't have that many ships out. The British Empire's head of admiralty is replaced by Edward Marjorie Banks. Oh boy. Oh, it's the new BCs. It's the Württembergers. So you are the lucky ones, huh? 
Can we withdraw? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, no. I'm going to fight this battle. Let's have a little coastal raid. The Ariadne, known for sinking two battle cruisers single handedly, should have very little issue killing off a town cruiser. Or, well, I'm so familiar with town class cruisers. Um, the town is an amethyst. Uh, ameth Some sort of jewel class cruiser. We got the Arun, which is a Nizam class destroyer. Let's fight. It's surprising that I have the V19 on reinforce. That's pretty unusual. Okay, show me the enemy. It's pretty unusual to have them on reinforce. Wow, you're far away. 29 clicks. Okay. Um. Eliminate the light cruiser. I'm going to bypass these and eliminate the convoy. I'm still trying to cripple the British economy. There. That's where they're at. That's where the DD's going to go. Wow. You're already getting killed? Well, yeah, you're sort of getting kills. Veteran. Yeah, I'll bet. After that last battle. Ariadne <laughs> has a stealth ship. I forgot how well armored these CLs are, so we're going to have to wait a bit. I can do 37 knots, so I can still play around with the range. Shooting AP. Shoot HE. Oh. <laughs> Is this the museum piece? Oh, it's the DD. Right? This is the CL. Okay, switch to the CL. Sorry, I was shooting up the wrong target. 3.9ers. Yeah, there's light cruisers already having a bad day. The DD's only 9 kilometers out. My DD's still going to take a while to get there. What are you doing? Armor piercing. You're going to go broadside. I'm sure. Let's do it. Hello. There's the Arun. Lost 2% of her crew. She should be able to see me now. Yeah, she can. Oh, the CL is in the vape club, but the Arun is not. Got expelled. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ariadne is going to take some damage this battle. Oh, hello! Hello, hello. That's interesting. We're going to go there eventually. What? Torpedo in the water? No, 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 I'm not a fan. No, 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 no. Turn. Oh, that helps. A lot. Hard over. We don't put your ass in the torpedo. No. Fuck. Okay, new plan. We're going to save the Ariadne. She's a legendary ship. She's going to have to survive. Can we pen this? 0.1% or 0.1 inch of superstructure. They just don't learn, do they? Where's the transports? Can we still catch those? Yeah, 28 knots, definitely. So this little shit hit me with a torpedo. That's really annoying. It's not like they're trying to make a beeline for my destroyer either. They're just... Oh, now they're starting to chase again. What a weird battle this is. Never should have been hit by that torpedo. It was a bit sloppy. These guys got, what, triple bottoms, right? Yeah. Triple bottoms... Anti-flood 2, that's keeping them alive right now. Let's put the second edge on the Arun. We might actually be able to hit the DD and do enough damage to slow her down. She can do 32, she can do 37. I can do 28. 
So if the AI really wanted to, they can just charge the location of where I'm shooting from, and they probably have a pretty decent chance of finding me there, and then eliminating me, but they're not doing that. Which will be their downfall. You close to the convoy yet? No. Wow, okay, this is gonna take a bit. A little while later, after the AI has proven to be completely inept at chasing down a badly damaged light cruiser, the Ariadne can finish her lunch. Or start on her dinner. I'm not sure how you want to put this. At any rate, we're going to start to take down the transports. And the escorts, despite being faster, are not doing anything about it. Because why would they? This game still needs a lot of work. Come on, pick the easy target. This is the target. Oriana. And two as of yet unidentified transports. 2000 damage. Okay, you're done. And if not, then the secondaries will pick you apart by the time that we get there. The Melampus. What the hell is a Melampus? Yeah. And the, v the V19 is going, hey! <laughs> leave some for me. No. Sorry. Sorry. Not happening. Come on. Target the transports. Focus on your mission. Ignore everything else. Flooding. Dead. Olympus. I think I'm going to be able to end the battle. Are you guys now too close? Oh, actually, maybe. I'm being detected by the CL. Yeah, I'm actually getting shot at by the CL. I'm going to have to pull the DD in. To try and save the damaged Ariadne. Put all the guns on the town. Sorry. Yeah, on the town. V-19 is racing to assist. Nice. Destroyed a torpedo launcher. Flooding! Look at you. Was that the DD? Yes, it was. V-19 coming to the rescue of the Ariadne. Which, you could argue, doesn't need rescuing. She's perfectly capable of taking down a battlecruiser solo. Why would she need rescuing? Well... Previously, she didn't get hit by a torpedo. Which is a really bad way of prolonging your existence. Oh, you're out of torpedoes. At least for the quads. What about your single launcher port 2 on the port side? Yeah, I would really not recommend going broadside against Ariadne. Because you won't survive that. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. Destroy the secondary gun. Flooding. More guns on the target. Arun running away. Or trying to. Ariadne taking a bit more damage than she strictly, need strictly needs to. Just sent your torpedoes. Wow. You do have radar. Sea state's not bad. 40% chance to hit. Sorry, 40% chance to pen. With a 5.9er. I'll take those odds. How fast are you? 24 knots. So even the wounded Ariadne can catch you now. She probably will. Nice. Flooding. Now she'll definitely catch you. Go on. Find me the destroyer. Your AP is pretty deadly, right? This range? Hell yes. Yeah, we're firing AP. Perfect. They might try to send another torpedo at me. Or two. Go. No survivors. We already had the Lancaster survive. That's enough. 
Fifty percent. Forty-nine. Lost quite a bit of crew. Just charge him down. Radar ping? Here. Eight kilometers out, you can't see it? I thought you got radar. Yeah. You got radar 1 and RDF. I still need to update those DDs. What class is that? Uh, that's a slightly older design. That's why. Now, I believe I did unlock triple guns, triple turrets for the DDs. So, that in tandem with my ability to now build 3,000 ton destroyers, which is 600 tons bigger than this design, should allow for a very powerful gunboat. We've seen that even the 5.9ers can be deadly. Quite deadly. Ah, look who it is. Arun. Where do you think you're going? You still have torpedoes? It's potentially problematic. To zip between these battles a bit. If this DD decides that it really wants to mess with me, it can send a pretty, pretty terrifying salvo of eight torpedoes at me. Which would be pretty bad. Yeah, no, I'm gonna send my one torpedo at the Arun. Good luck. Partial. Partials. You good? Taking quite a while. They're almost burning down this light cruiser. Slow down. I want you to. Oh, that was nice. I want you to overtake them. Did you launch? Uncertain. I can see the torpedoes are no longer there. I'm not sure if they got shot off. I'm assuming they didn't. I'm assuming the torpedoes are in the water. Okay, now go ahead and help the Ariadne again. 15% structural, 14. 34% losses to the crew. Ten percent structural bulkheads? Standard. Ariatni, you murderous little ship. You've done fifty-six thousand damage. Four percent structural three. She's looking a little worse for wear. Otherwise fine. She's listing a bit starboard, yes. Grant you that. Oh, there we go. Dead. So, nice battles. They got a whole 23 victory points for showing up. But not for saving their convoy, because they utterly and terribly failed at that. Okay. So. Can I now design my new destroyer? Yes. Let's go. In the next episode. Um, thank you guys for watching this one. I am already running at 45 minutes, and that's just the recording. So I want to make sure that uh, it's not going to run too long. Next episode, we're going to start with designing a new destroyer. And then we're going to have a look at whatever this battle is. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next one.